Hi, I'm Abby. And I'm Elise. And we're going to be making traditional Papua New Guinean banana cake. Preheat your oven to 175 degrees. First thing you want to do is you want to take three medium-sized bananas and mash them. Mash your bananas until they are creamy. Now you want to add in your vanilla, sugar, and butter. Put one stick of butter in the bowl. Now add in half a cup of sugar. Now add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now mix all of the ingredients until they have a creamy texture. Next, you want to crack two eggs into a bowl. Slowly dump the eggs into the bowl. Next, you want to add the banana mixture into the sugar mixture. Now add half a cup of milk into the bowl. Add one tablespoon of baking soda into the milk. Now you're going to pour your milk and baking soda into the mixture of bananas. Now mix these two things together by folding it. Now you're gonna add one and a half cups of flour into your banana mixture. Stir it until it's creamy. Make sure you put cooking oil down so your cake doesn't get stuck to the pan. Lastly, put the cake in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes. A banana is one of the staple vegetables in Papua New Guinea. A staple vegetable is a food that they eat daily or almost daily. Other staple foods in Papua New Guinea include taro roots, sweet potatoes, and sago, which is a palm. Papua New Guinea is located on the island of New Guinea. It's around Australia and Indonesia. Also, the capital is Port Moresby. Now it has about 26 more minutes left, so we're going to check on it. It still needs more time. We'll check on it again soon. Now the cake is finished, and we can't wait to eat it. Here's the recipe if you would like to try the Papua New Guinean banana cake. 